I'm often impressed by how much osteoarchaeologists can tell from just a small piece of bone. The secret, of course, is knowing what to look for, and it's exactly the same in church buildings. They give us clues that help us understand who built them and when. Here at Tuxlith in West Sussex, we're looking at a small part of the outside of the chancel. And here you can very clearly see that the church is built of rubble stone, stone as it's come out from the ground. When you're building in rubble, you have something very rustic, as we see here, in the local iron stone, the dark stone being stained by iron deposits. We can look at how those stones are laid in the wall, in horizontal courses. And by counting those number of definite horizontal courses, we can tell how many seasons work it took to build this wall, because it was you and I who built these churches. And for most of the year, we were tied up with working the land. So just in two periods, perhaps in the late spring and the early autumn, we had a couple of weeks to help build our church. And each of those building periods is represented here in this wall by a horizontal layer. We call these building lifts. And by counting those, you can count how many seasons work it took to build this wall. It was just like cutting through a tree and counting the rings of growth, but in a vertical section. Near the top of the wall, we can see the stones are laid in a slightly different way, in a herringbone formation. And this just gives a little bit of added strength to the wall. It was very popular in the late 11th and early 12th centuries. Further up is a blocked window. We didn't know it existed, we only discovered it about 20 years ago when we were taking plaster from the outside of the wall. It too dates from about 1100. In fact, we're seeing it now for the first time in many centuries because at some stage in the church's history, this window was filled in. It would have been lime washed over so we wouldn't have known it was there and light let into the church by much later, larger windows. Now windows and doors and corners do need some good quality building stone which had to be bought in from elsewhere at vast expense. But the main structure of this church is very much one of rubble construction, the cheapest possible way. Tuxlith Chapel remained in use until the 1870s when it was replaced by a more conventional church next door and after a few generations as a Sunday school this building fell into disrepair. It was eventually saved by a group of local enthusiasts and the Friends of Friendless Churches. <laughs>